Both teams come into this one riding high after back-to-back -back wins. Mr. Vitale, this third round game should prove to be a tight one between the West Virginia Mountaineers and the Virginia Cavaliers. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Cavaliers are clearly outmatched on paper in this one, Dick. What's the key to pulling off a victory for? Here are a couple of keys, Brad. Number one, take away their outside shooters. Force them to put the ball on the floor. Force them to drive, baby. Next, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. Thirdly, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. Westbrook comes up with it. It's a fast break possibility for two. He drains the shot. Gave it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Wide open for the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. Defense breaks down again. Nobody rotates over from the help side. Now trying to feed the low block. The frustration right there. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. the perimeter down inside takes away the pass high post flasher is open trying to go inside and they do they got it on the low block they just can't seem to miss they found a serious stroke with their shooting Brad Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Gave it up. The center takes the feed. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. They go into the low block. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Goes up for two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all in them some. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. There he is. Strips the ball loose. For the bucket, he puts it in with contact and all. Working it around the perimeter. From the top of the key. Goes in. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes the pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen. Here they go into the break. There it is, Jam City. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. to the circle. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Try to feed the low block. Takes it off him. The point guard takes the pass. Stolen away. He got the ball back down to the floor and he stripped him. And he's going to pick up the foul and all. Oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure into basketball. He makes the shot. <laughs> he 
patience with the ball as the offense regroups. He shoots from outside. He gets that one to fall. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. For two. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. out of play. Turns it over. A three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. With anticipation defensively. The power forward with the ball. And he missed. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. <laughs> Tries for two. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Goes up for two. In and out. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. The small forward gets the ball. He looks for three. Scorches the net. And the ball goes out of bounds. He unloads. He buries the shot. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Westbrook is pretty fired up and excited. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in a player. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. in front to take it away. The point guard gets the pass. Fakes it. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Fakes. They move it into the front court. Goes for the deep one. He buries it. Wow, can we get slow mo, please? Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Tries one from three-point land. Buried it. <laughs> Looking.
looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, laying in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I think did a great job creating a good angle to him. He goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. It's the replay, please. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He shoots from downtown. He hits it. The Cavaliers have a special roster, which I know you're in love with, Dick. Oh, their roster is pretty special, Brad. You know why? Because of the seniors, the leaders, the dependable ones. They're so important. High post player flashing. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And now they'll bring it up for the bucket. Doesn't go. He gets the rejection. And the ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, before the game, the coaches told us their only worry was their team getting down too early. Now that this team has, the players are trying very hard not to panic and put it all together. All right, thanks, Aaron. There's the trap. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. He strips him clean. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Looking to move it around the perimeter. Fires away. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. in the transition. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Looking for contact. That's a 7 nothing run. Tempo game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. High post flashes. Dickerson picks up the foul. First team foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Steals a pass.
He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. They work it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. On the dribble. Gives it up. Looking for a good shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. They've left them completely alone. On the top of the circle, West Virginia are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're going to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Gave it up. And one too many dribbles and a steal. What a great strip. Leans in. Walker makes the finger roll. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. Applying pressure. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He tries the three. The Cavaliers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He fires from long range. He gets it to fall. the perimeter he takes the shot poor decision he has no business taking that shot I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot defensively doing a great job down there and he's winning that battle there I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out and that's how he's winning that battle Accepted. Pushes it up. In the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Trying to get that ball moving, get that good spacing. Trying to draw the foul. They are heating up this building with their shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. <laughs> moving it around the perimeter. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. They work it back to the outside. Time to pick up the defense here now. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Stolen away. One too many dribbles. Whistle blown. Basket's good and one. That's concentration, baby. Look out. He's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Nothing but nylon. NBN.
goes out of play. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The ball goes out of bounds. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He got the flush and took the foul. That was awesome with a capital A. He'll go to the line. Makes it. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Fast break opportunity here. Tries for two. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The Cavaliers have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. On the inside. Nice fake. Controlling the ball. Stolen. Good fake. Get that sucker out of the game, man. And again, they look to run. Goes up for two. It's good. And a momentary look from three-point land. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. And the ball goes out of bounds. Full house. And a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. Here's a nice face-up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up, and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Ten on the shot clock. Way off target. For the bucket, in and out. Opportunity for two for one. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Number one walks out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep bench, Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. And the ball goes out of play. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Shot clock is dead. Dump it inside. Takes away the pass. They won't let that go. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. To the charity strike. 
He sinks it. Gets two at the charity strike. The Mountaineers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. At the end of the first half, the Mountaineers lead by 26. We have had a good first half of basketball, folks. Dick, give us your opinion on what set the tone in that opening half. My highlight of the first half has to be this trifecta, Brad. It showed another one of the deadly weapons that this team has offensively. I expect more of that in the second half. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. Virginia has turned the ball over a lot more than normal in that first half. They're very sloppy in moving the ball tonight. And as a result, turnovers are piling up like dirty laundry. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Dumps it in. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Off the rim and no good. They get it inside and a chance for a three-point play as they score. To the line. Free throw is good. On the dribble, gives it up. For two, and in and out. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. The Mountaineers lead by 29. Steals the pass. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. It's stolen. He hits the shot. They scored nine in a row. Look at that spacing. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He may be in trouble here. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground. He makes the block. Gave it up. He puts up the three ball. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. For the deuce. Finger roll. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Close play is essential if you're going to be effective. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Picks off the lazy pass. Westbrook handles the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Here they come now on a turnover. For the bucket. Up 
Easy one. Gave it up. Double team now, bad angle. Strips the ball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For two, perfectly executed. Steals the ball. Fast break possibility coming. For two, he gets the bucket to fall. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front him. With a long bomb. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Takes the pass in the paint. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious struggle with their shooting, Brad. Shoots from the top of the key. Tickles a twine. They scored eight in a row. Picked off. With a quarterback pass. There's a slam. Timeout on the floor. ready to start again. They're working around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Picks off the pass. The power forward receives the ball. Tries for two. He gets the bucket. Definitely worth another look, Brad. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Picked off. Goes up for two. The lane. Another look. the pass in the paint and now with a power move on the inside did a great job protecting the basketball seals the defense off and explodes to the basket for the deuce sweet looking shot he is super he really is the power forward handles the feed up and inside Nice move with a face-up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. And a momentary look from three-point land. On 
on the dribble, gives it up. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. They strip him in a basketball, got a little too fancy, too much mustard there, baby. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He shoots. Yes. The Cavaliers are trailing by 42. Great defense. Dump it inside. Got the shot if he... Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Jumped in front to take it away. The ball goes out of play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the crowd certainly hope for a closer matchup. One side of the arena is celebrating in the stands, and the other one is just sitting there in complete disbelief. Guys? What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your... Thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far. Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They are red hot from behind the arc, Dick. They're rolling at all cylinders right now. That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Great play to take that to the basket. For the bucket, basket falls despite the contact. Hey, Big East basketball, Brad. It's an interesting mix of teams. You've got an up-tempo teams, teams that like to play in the half court, and pressing teams. Well, I guess if you're playing this conference, you've got to be ready for just about anything and everything. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. <laughs> Here's a double team. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. The center receives the pass. Steal. Great shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drains it. He unloads a three. Looks like only a miracle can salvage this one, Dick. I'd have to agree with you, partner. Time's running out. In the paint. There's a double team waiting there. For two. He gets the shot to fall. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. A 
on the outside. He wants a three off the rim and no good. He's got an open look for the shot. He dials long distance. He shows the sweet touch. He does the sweet fake shot. Pushing up basketball. From way outside. They let him get into a rhythm. Working around the perimeter. Gave it up. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He'll visit the charity strike. Makes the foul shot. Gets them both to fall. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. They'll work it around the arc. On the inside. Goes up for two. the dribble gives it up in the post West Virginia are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to cook on offense working it around the perimeter didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball gave it up and now there's a whistle and a foul as we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. There they come with a double team to stop it. He attempts the trifecta. Rims out. Knocks it down. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. Finger roll. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Got a nice screen. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Good defensive stance there against us. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Count that as a personal foul. There's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Drains the shot. On the outside. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Here we go on the break. For the deuce, up for the lay-in. Take another look at that play. defensively
I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Misses the second. Pulls it down. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the trap. Looking for a good shot. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He throws up the shot. Off the rim and no good. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. We're going to move it around the perimeter. The fake. Got some room from beyond the arc. Rims out. He throws it up from downtown. He drains the shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Takes the pass in the paint. Stolen. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Looking for a good shot. Nice high post screen. Intercepted. He should have an easy bucket here. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Three. You got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Working it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. He shoots from the angle. That was nice. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Up it inside. For the bucket. He puts it in with contact and all. Let's see if it looks as good on the replay. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. And the ball goes out of play. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Makes the front end of the one and one. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. It's good. 
They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Just like in practice. Gets it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Look at that spacing. Jumped in front to take it away. He looks for three. He gets it to go. On the outside, he intercepts it. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Has a nice look at the basket. He looks for the bomb. The Cavaliers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. And he's on fire. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. The Mountaineers makes it three in a row with an impressive third-round victory. Hey, the way they're playing, Brad, this team is going to be hard to deal with entering the Elite Eight. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.